In this video, I'll show you how to solve crime using differential equations. For this question, you'll need to use Newton's law of cooling. This states that the rate of cooling of an object is proportional to the temperature difference between the object and its surrounding, provided this difference is not too large. The question reads, at 10.07 p.m., you find a secret agent murdered. Next to him is a martini that got shaken before the secret agent could stir it. Room temperature is at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The martini warms from 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 61 degrees Fahrenheit in two minutes from 10.07 p.m. to 10.09 p.m. If the secret agent's martinis are always served at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, what was the time of death? To answer this question, we have to set up a function for the temperature with respect to time. So we have to set up a function, t, capital T, with respect to time, little t. If I take the derivative of this function, I end up with t prime, or d capital T over d little t. And this equals to our constant of proportionality, which is not given here, times the temperature at any given time, minus the initial temperature, which I can represent as T subscript S. The initial temperature of the room is 70 degrees. So in place of this TS, I'll put 70 degrees, where I have D capital T over DT is equal to K big T minus 70. The next thing that I want to do here is separate the D capital T with the DT. So on one side I want D capital T, and on the other side I want terms that represent D little t. And the way I'll do that is I'll multiply both sides by dt first. This will cancel out the dt's on the left side. And now we have it on the right side, except there's a problem. We have dt, that's small letter, and capital T. So I'll multiply both sides by k times this expression, and this will bring this expression to the other side. So d capital T, k t minus 70 is equal to dt. Next what I'll do? is integrate both sides. And you can only do this step if you have accomplished the step before that, which is to separate them. If I integrate the right side, that's easy. The integral of dt is simply t plus, of course, or constant whenever you integrate. On the left side, this k can be taken out. So we have 1 over k times the integral of dt over t minus 70. Now if I can somehow change t minus 70 into a simple letter, I can integrate this quite easily. In fact, if I set this equal to u, u is equal to t minus 70, I now have the expression, the integral of dt over u. But we still need to change this tt with respect to u. And I can do that by taking the derivative of this, d over dt is equal to the derivative of t is 1, and the derivative of negative 70 is 0. Solving for dt, I end up with du is equal to dt. That means I'll replace this dt with du. And taking the integral of 1 over u is simply ln absolute of what I set u as, which is t minus 70. This is equal to the right side, which hasn't changed. Next, I want to clear the denominator by multiplying this whole equation by k. This gets rid of this fraction, and we end up with k on the right side, kt times c. And there's no need to place that k in front of the c. So I have ln absolute of t minus 70 is equal to kt plus c. I need to solve for this t. So I'll raise both sides to the base of e. And by doing that, this ln goes away, and we have e to the power of kt plus c on the right side. So I have the absolute of t minus 70, absolute is equal to e to the power of kt, e to the power of c. I've just used the laws of exponents here to rewrite this in such a way where we have this as a product. Now, I do not want these absolutes. So in place of those absolutes, I'm going to write down plus minus on the right side. So I have t minus 70 is equal to the expression that you see on your right. And instead of plus minus and this factor e to the power of c, I'll replace that with a letter. Let's use the letter m. m times e to the power of kt. Remember at time 0, at time 0, the question tells us that 
the martini was 60 degrees. And that's stated right here. So let's write that down. At time zero, the martini was 60 degrees. So what I'll do is replace this T with 60 and replace this little t with zero. That way I can find out what m is equal to. 60 minus 70 is equal to m times e to the power of k times zero, which is e to the power of zero, and e to the power of zero is equal to one. Anything to the power of zero is equal to one. Therefore, m is equal to negative 10. This means that our equation has become t minus 70 is equal to negative 10 e to the power of kt. We still need to find out what this k is equal to. And we can do that by using the fact that after two minutes, when t at two is equal to 61. Let's go ahead and replace that into our equation. This becomes two and this becomes 61. By inputting these values into this equation, I can find out what k is. 61 minus 70 is equal to negative 10 times e to the power of 2k. Let's solve for k. First of all, the left side becomes negative 9, and I can divide both sides by negative 10. The negatives go away, so we have 9 over 10 on the left side and e to the power of 2k. To isolate for this k, I'll lawn both sides, 9 over 10, and lawning e to the power of 2k gives us 2k ln e, that becomes 1. Subsequently dividing both sides by 2, we end up with what k is equal to. So my equation now has become this part, where t minus 70 is equal to negative 10 e to the power of ln 9 over 10 t over 2. I simply took the two that was underneath and put it under the t, and you can do that. It doesn't change the statement mathematically. Now, I'll solve for t by bringing this over, and now I have capital T with respect to time is equal to negative 10 e to the power of ln 9 over 10 times t over 2 plus 70. I can use this equation now to solve the problem because we're told that the secret agent likes his martini served at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If I substitute 40 degrees Fahrenheit into here, I can find out what t is. And I can use my findings, the time, to check how many minutes before or after 10.07 this agent was murdered. Here's what I mean. So I have 40 is equal to negative 10 e to the power of ln 9 over 10 t over 2 plus 70. I'll take that 70 over. I have 40 minus 70 is equal to, and at the same time I'll divide both sides by negative 10, e to the power of ln 9 over 10 t divided by 2. 40 minus 70 is negative 30. Divided by negative 10 gives us positive 3. e to the power of ln 9 over 10 gives us 9 over 10. e to the power of ln goes away. And this is raised to t over 2. I'll ln both sides once again. Ln 3 is equal to t over 2 ln 9 over 10. Dividing both sides by ln 9 over 10 makes this go away. And then multiplying both sides by 2 makes that go away. Let's find out what the answer is. We have 2 times ln of 3 divided by ln of 9 over 10 gives us our time in minutes at approximately negative 21. Don't let the negative scare you because what this means is that it took 21 minutes before 10.07 when the secret agent was murdered. So let's find out what that is. 20 minutes before this is 9.46 p.m. Therefore, the secret agent was murdered at 9.46 that night. And there you have it. That is how to use differential equations and Newton's law of cooling to solve criminal acts.